everyone. We are having a really fun night tonight. We are heading over as a surprise for Phoebe's birthday party. So we've been booked by her dad to surprise her because she's a massive Ellie Sachs fan. And we are so excited. I love being a surprise for people. It's so fun. Um, I've done it for weddings, parties, engagements, and it's just always really fun and exciting. And it's just something a little bit different. Um, so hopefully it'll be a good surprise. But first, Mabel and I are just gonna show you the progress on the flat from last week's video because um, as I think last time it was pure chaos. Um, and we've made quite good progress this week, I think. So let's have a look. So as you can see, it's still pretty chaotic, but we have retiled the whole wall. Um, we've repainted the kitchen cabinets. That was today's job. The table's free of dust sheets. We've just got to paint a couple of top beams and there's also the LED wall, Harry's pride and joy. So it's a walnut? Walnut. I'm going to go with walnut. Ash. It's ash. Um, it's ash panelled. They're really cool panels. You just kind of stick them on. Well, I say stick them on. I can't do it. Um, our amazing friend Gaz did it and he has got a lot, a lot of skills, but they come in panels and Harry, of course, saw some lines and thought, hey, perfect spot for some LEDs. So we've got an LED wall. It has some really cool features. It's really fun. It's just going to make the flat super unique. Mabel, do you like it? No. <laughs> but for now, we're going to head off and surprise Phoebe for her birthday. Harry and Claire are going to head in the van first and set up all the equipment. So I got off nice and easy tonight. I'm heading over in the McLaren to do a surprise entrance, which we think will be really fun, especially with the new colour scheme. So I'm going to rock up and, uh, and go do some sets and surprise Phoebe for her birthday. Come with me. <laughs> en route to surprise Phoebe. Um, so excited. I'm not gonna lie, not the ideal weather for the McLaren. It's very cold and she's quite skittish. So uh, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, we're so excited to surprise her. It's been in the planning for absolutely months um, and we, and her, her dad must have kept it a secret the whole time. So it's gonna be really, really fun to just rock up and surprise her and surprise everyone. And then hopefully we can have a really fun party as well. I thought it would be really cool for me to chat over the differences between the cars, because some people have been asking me. Um, so while I'm driving over, I'm gonna fill you on on the differences between the McLaren and the Mustang. So lots of people have asked me which the most fun to drive is. Um, I'm guessing they're asking between the van, obviously, uh, the Atom, the Mustang, and the McLaren. It's tricky because I'm completely biased towards the Mustang, so please consider that in all answers given. Um, this is not a well-informed car review between the McLaren 720S and a Mustang, because I love the Mustang. But you know what, the McLaren, when you're in the right conditions and it's not too cold for it, which it is a bit today, then the McLaren is insanely fun to drive. It's fast, it's exciting, it's really easy to handle, and it's really nippy. The, the Mustang is great, great fun. I enjoy it because I feel a bit safer in it because I know it more, but it's quite heavy and it's got a load of grunt to it. Sounds incredible, um, but it certainly hasn't got anywhere near the acceleration and the kind of nippiness of this car. This car is so clever as well. You, you've got really cool settings in it. Like it can help you to drift so that you look like you can drift. So you look like you're really cool. Um, so yeah, McLaren's gonna win the most fun to drive award. Very, very closely followed by the Mustang. And then in my opinion, then the van, then the Atom, because I don't like being cold and I'm not really one for being out in the elements while I'm driving. I'm guessing Harry would say McLaren Atom Mustang van. People are also always asking me about how fuel efficient they are because obviously they're going to be quite bad in terms of fuel efficiency. The, the Mustang's actually majority of the time far better than the McLaren on fuel economy. The Mustang averages out at about 25 miles to the gallon 
if you kind of even it out between motorway miles. And even when you're doing around the town, you'll probably get about 22, 23. Uh, the McLaren is currently doing 12. I'm doing 12 miles to the gallon. Close to arriving. Really, really excited. Harry's going to be there waiting with the camera so you guys can see me arriving. Um, so I'm going to turn you off very soon and Ellie sacks up, ready to go. And then I'll turn you back on so that you can see me rock up and see how everyone reacts. Fingers crossed they react well. Hi, lovely. It's me. Well, you knew that. I really hope you're all right. I haven't seen you in so long. We've got to fix that. We need to go out. We need to have some fun. I'm tired of being boring and being bored. You know what I mean? You know what it's like when we're together. So we have got to get together. You know I also hate leaving messages. So make sure you call me back. We have to go out. Call me back. Let me cool. 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 Let and it was really nice to surprise her and to pull up in the McLaren and for it to just be something a little bit fun and a little bit special. So we had an amazing time. We hope you guys enjoyed watching it um, and we'll keep you up to date with our adventures over the next couple of months. We have some really, really fun places that we're going. We're going to Barcelona, Mexico, oh, Lisbon. So there's loads of fun places and we've got loads of cool events here in the UK as well. So we'll keep you up to date. See you soon. You're so beautiful. Come on in. Come on in.